Saturday morning. Yesterday I drove from Eugene down to the Mount Shasta area, camped last night. Now I'm heading out of the wilderness and down to the meetup spot where hopefully find John DZ adventuring, uh, Edward Shin. Meet me in the city, bright lights so pretty. For our first night, we're camping in an OHV park near Lake Shasta. Everyone's setting up camp and gradually starting to mingle a bit. Hi. Hi, I'm Donald. Katie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet are you guys the YouTube channels that I follow? Oh, okay. you, you don't have haters yet? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I like to moderate my channel. Right on. Yeah? Okay, whoever. It's the engagement, right? Now that we've all settled into the campground, we're taking advantage of the leisurely evening to hang out and get acquainted. I've interacted with some of this crew on Instagram, YouTube, and the Subaru Forester forums, but it's the first time I've met any of these people in person. This is Edward Shin's subscriber meetup trip, and he has coordinated with several sponsors to provide some really nice raffle giveaway items. I came away with a Claymore cap light, which I'm absolutely thrilled about. It's a brilliant design, and I've wanted this thing from the first moment I saw it in one of Edward Shin's videos. Thank you, Edward Shin, Claymore, and Big Tent Outdoor Equipment. The Helion Mini Cat LED light strip has run for another four hours this evening, still on the same initial charge on the battery. We're at eight hours now and still going strong. So it's Sunday morning, uh, we had a really nice evening, pleasant evening around the campfire last night, getting to know everybody. Um, everyone's getting camp broke down, packed away, and we're gonna, we're gonna hit a trail here in the OHV park before heading north up to Mount Shasta where we'll 
explore the wilderness and find some place to camp uh, uh, out along Mount Shasta someplace tonight. Oh, yeah! As you may have seen in John's video, we didn't get off to a very good start when we finally met in person, but we were eventually able to see eye to eye. John has had a fabulous YouTube channel for far longer than me and was a huge inspiration for me as I got rolling with my own channel. Even as everyone is relaxing and having fun, he is constantly at work capturing content for his subscribers. Some people that have just tuned into my channel uh, don't think of me as a do-it-yourself kind of guy. Here's my bin full of a lot of my cooking gear. I, ha I have it clear so that I can see everything. The problem is like if you put a stove inside here, the moment you take that stove out, everything oh, is gonna collapse into, inside of here. So I have it partitioned off. I just used some plastic cardboard. You just get a drill, put a hole through it. I I'm a man of really simple ideas that aren't over the top. You know what's awesome about this? Is, is I feel like I'm watching a John DZ adventuring video, <laughs> but it's in real life. It's so cool. Some people are angry that I have these badges. Like, <laughs> why are you trying to subify your Honda? We've broken camp and all 18 of us in 14 rigs are headed up one of the trails right here in the OHV park where we camped last night. 14 doesn't sound too imposing until you try filming them all rolling up a trail at five miles per hour. As we've got a mix of vehicles, we're just taking an easy road for a nice drive through some backcountry and hopefully catch some views along the way. trail you're exploring the wilderness most of the roads are like this exactly yeah yeah so yeah. you're not always well, you don't always drive on the Rubicon trail <laughs> We've gathered at a viewpoint above Lake Shasta to check out the view and line everyone up for a group photo. Okay, you, pictures. <laughs> okay. Okay. Video of John DZ taking video of people taking pictures. Oh.
With this many off-road enthusiasts gathered together, this especially challenging segment has proven impossible to resist. And also, maybe just plain impossible. on hardcore 4x4s can't make it, it would be utterly pointless and unwise for the soft rotors to give it a shot, right? Somehow I've got it in my head that trying a different line using my front driver side wheel to start lifting me up over that hump, plus a bit of momentum, may give me a bit of a chance. But my open diffs are my undoing, and by the time traction control kicks in and stops the spinning wheel, I've already lost my momentum and any chance of getting any further, and I probably should have just left it alone, but I so rarely have the opportunity to push my Forester to its limits. Best time to do that is with plenty of friends around to help out if anything goes wrong. The Forester hasn't suffered any, but I have managed to bend my light bar a bit. Now we are headed north on I-5 up towards Mount Shasta. We're all going to meet back up. I don't know how far into the wilderness we'll be able to get today. Once again, we're trying to beat the setting sun. It's not that late in the afternoon, but man, the sun is dropping low fast. I'll be honest, I had mixed feelings about joining a group that was this big. There's a lot of people, a lot of rigs. Um, but it was a rare opportunity to meet up with a number of people that I've been hoping to meet up with at some point. Uh, I'm really glad I came down because everyone has just been fantastic. Just really good people, um, kind, accepting, sharing. Um, it's really, really been a pleasure.
We've located a free primitive campground on National Forest Land and everyone has dispersed into the trees to set up camp with jaw-dropping views of Mount Shasta illuminated by the setting sun. All right. John DZ adventuring in action. If you want to see this epic time lapse he's filming, be sure to subscribe to his channel. That's John DZ adventuring. <laughs> it's getting cold. Probably shouldn't have attempted that gravel hill earlier. I don't know if you can tell, I sort of tweaked out my do-it-yourself skid plate. Nature provided me some garage ramps to lift the car up. That'll make it a little easier to get up underneath there. It's getting kind of dark though. These lights came in super handy on this trip. Thank you. Here's how easy it is to put this thing away. We're at a free primitive campsite along the base of Mount Shasta. And the spaces are kind of spread out through the trees. It's pretty nice. Someone's over there. Someone's over there. More people over there. Let's go check out all the campsites. All right here's John DZ. Hello. What you making, John? Just some noodles. And I'm gonna throw a couple of eggs in here. Oh, that keeps happening. Oh, this is the Shin campsite. Yes, here we are. This campground is awesome. I love how we're all kind of scattered through the trees. Yeah. Wow, look at this cozy little setup over here. Now this, this is how to do it. How long does it take you to set this up? Um, Awning, tent, like snow, table. Put us on the top. Realistically, get every all this stuff set up. Every and, single thing you set out here, 20 minutes. That's because we know our roles. Yeah. yeah. Prof G. It's Prof G. Yeah. With the, the eye camper. Ooh, I like that stove. I like the size of that. You got two burners, but it's nice and compact. Yeah. Nice way to sleep in the woods. In this corner, we've got Foz Outdoors. Is it? Soft roading the west, checking out all the campsites. Oh, you guys are set up nice over here. A little cozy. The view's gonna be amazing in the morning. Though. I think it is. Thank you. 
Something is out there. Something has drawn us to probe into the woods and the depths of the night. The absolute darkness enveloping us is far more chilling than the mere cold of the air. What mysteries will we unveil? <laughs> well, it's already time to start packing up camp and head our separate ways. I'm really happy I got to come down here and meet you all. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'm attempting a final debriefing with John DZ Adventuring, but between video issues with my camera and audio issues with John's, we'll just call it a goodbye for now. As it's still early in the day and I don't have a huge distance to cover, I'm working my way out of the wilderness via the most circuitous backcountry route I can manage to figure out on the fly.
northbound on Interstate 5. I've aired up and I'm headed home. This is what happens when you go camping with YouTubers. <laughs> we got a camera there. We got a camera there. We got a camera there.